this video we will look at the concept of linear or longitudinal magnification let's say we have a concave mirror and this is the principal axis of the mirror now when we have an object placed perpendicular to the principal axis we know that generally we get a real inverted image say, say for example in this case we get image over here the ray which passes principal to the parallel to the principal axis passes through focus and meets over here and we get an image and if we call this as height h and the height of the image is h dash then the magnification is given by height of the image h dash by h so this tells us how big the image is as compared to the object and this n over here is known as lateral magnification because here the object and the image are perpendicular to the principal axis so this is lateral magnification what we are going to talk about is linear or longitudinal magnification so let's say we have a concave mirror again and let's say this is the principal axis and let us say at a distance u over here a thin thin kind of an object is placed over here parallel to the principal axis it's lying on the principal axis so in this case what will be the magnification now here we could compare the sizes in terms of their heights now how do we calculate magnification in this case when the object is over here the primary difference between this case and this case is that here all the particles or all the points of the object were at nearly the same distance from the mirror the distance was nearly nearly same for all of them in this case this particular point if i call it point a and this particular point b they are at different distances from the mirror and if you use the mirror formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u it's difficult to decide what value of u to be taken because this particular point is at a distance u whereas this point is at a distance u plus something so what we do in this case is that we will differentiate this equation so we will get over here 0 is equal to minus 1 upon v square t v minus 1 upon u square t u and therefore i can write down minus 1 upon v square t v is equal to 1 upon u square t u now it's important to understand what do you mean by t u and what do we mean by t v let us first understand d u what is d u d u is a small change in u so if i show this diagram a b over here a little bit longer let us say this is b this is a and this lying on the principal axis so this distance is u the mirror is over here this distance is u as far as this particular point is concerned point immediately next to point a let's call this point 1 this first point this distance is d u and as i go keep on further going away from this the du keeps on varying or du keeps on increasing and when i reach over here i get the full or the final value of du so basically du represents to me the change in the image object distance the object distance initially is u and finally the object distance is du so du basically represents the small increase in the object distance from the spherical mirror similarly dv will represent the small change in the image distance from the mirror going back to this equation i'll get dv upon du is equal to minus v square upon u square so dv upon du represents the change in the size of the change in size of image upon change in size of object basically instead of size i should say the distance of the of image and distance of the object change in let us look at the denominator change in distance of the object from the mirror of course so du represents the change in distance of the object from the mirror similarly the numerator change in distance of the image from the spherical mirror so this will give me how long the image is the way this is giving me how long the object is du represents the total length of the object 
this numerator pb will give me the total length of the image and this will be equal to minus v square upon u square and if i take the value of du upon du the absolute value it will be equal to v square by u square now we have studied that the lateral magnification lateral magnification m is also given by minus v upon u therefore m square is equal to v square upon u square so this v square upon u square can be written as m square and dv by du the length of the image so i'll call this l dash and l length dv represents length of the image this represents the length of the object is equal to m square and this ratio l dash by l is known as the linear magnification or the longitudinal magnification and that is given by m square where m is the lateral magnification so in other words linear magnification is equal to lateral magnification raised to the power 2 thank you